When you have a scar, just to know there are four stages for scar healing. There's hemostasis, when the body tries to prevent blood loss by sending platelets to the sites to clot the blood. You've got inflammation, when the white cells come to the area of the wound to fight off infection. You've got proliferation, where you have development of granulation tissue. And then you have remodeling, which is when the scar starts to mature, and this can take up to two years. So what are keloid scars? Keloid scars occur due to the overgrowth of scar tissue when excess collagen is produced at the site of the wound and the scar tissue grows beyond the boundary of the original site of the wound. Hypertrophic scars is a similar process to keloid scars, but the difference is the scar tissue does not grow beyond the boundaries of the original site of the wound. So both keloid and hypertrophic scars can be caused by cuts to the skin, any form of body piercing, whether it's earrings, tattoos, you might be having vaccinations, burns to the skin, acne, any form of trauma, including surgery. And you notice that keloid and hypertrophic scars are actually more common in Asian, especially African and black populations, than we get with white population. So keloid scars are more likely to occur in areas such as the face, the upper chest, the upper shoulders, the back, as these are the areas where you tend to get increased skin tension. So both keloid and hypertrophic scars tend to look initially pink or red, quite thick and raised in appearance. While hypertrophic scars can fade over time, which can take up to a year, keloid scars do not tend to fade. In other words, after a few weeks or even a few months, they can continue to get bigger and bigger. So the treatment for keloid scars and hypertrophic scars are quite identical. Some of the treatment options include topical steroids in the form of your creams and your ointments, You've got steroid injections, you've got what we call intralesional cryotherapy, which uses nitrogen as a freezing liquid. You've got pressure therapy, where pressure garments are applied to the region of the scar, especially with keloids. And then you've got minor surgery to remove the scar, which in keloid can actually lead to more scarring. And then you've also got laser surgery, where the idea is to suppress the formation of the new blood vessels, and you need several sessions of laser surgery. You've also got the use of silicon sheets or scar gels which is more commonly used in hypertrophic scars than in keloid scars. And then you've got other non-conventional methods, such as bio-oil, which is thought to contain a good amount of vitamin E. Some people use vitamin E capsules, where basically they break off the capsule and they use the powdered foam to massage into the scar area. Some people also find that using onion skin actually helps with minimizing the scarring, as well as scar massage, which is more effective if done at the early process of scar formation. But one treatment that has shown to be quite effective for hypertrophic scars and keloid scars is steroid tape. Now, steroid tape contains a steroid fludroxycortide. This is a moderate potent steroid. The tape itself is quite transparent. It helps to reduce inflammation in the form of swelling, itchiness, redness. And the whole idea is to move the scar from the inflammatory process to the remodeling process where the scar starts to mature. Because it is a moderately potent steroid, it is advised not to use for more than five days in children. And if you're applying it to the face, again, for not more than five days. Fludroxycortide tape is also used for other skin problems such as dermatitis, eczema, and is actually commonly used in women who've had C-section to reduce scarring as well as after plastic surgery. So how to use the tape is quite simple and straightforward. It comes in quite a long tape, so you have to cut the tape to size and shape. Make sure you apply it to clean skin. Usually you only need to use the tape for 12 out of 24 hours because all of the steroid is released within that 12 hour period. So the tape is transparent. People cannot notice it. It's waterproof as well, so you can use it during your shower. You can apply makeup on top of the tape and you can also exercise with it as well. One of the major side effects to bear with prolonged use of this tape could be hyperpigmentation, which is where you start to get permanent white patches on the skin. If you're not keen on using steroid tape or the steroid tape does not work, the next form to try is steroid injection. Steroid injection is basically the injection of steroid into the scar, which can be used for both hypertrophic or keloid scarring. Especially for keloid scars, you apply the injection once a month into the affected area, and this is used for up to six months. But because the steroid injection is quite potent, again, you have to be aware of thinning of the skin, hypopigmentation, and skin atrophy. Another option to consider is the use of silicone sheets or gel. Now silicone is more effective on new scars than old scars because the scar is not yet mature so it gives the chance for the silicone to work. So for best results use as early as possible as soon as the wound heals and closes. Silicone works by helping to hydrate the scar so therefore you're maintaining moisture 
and reducing the production of the excess collagen that tends to form with keloid and hypertrophic scars. I would expect that with new scars, it could take up to three to six months to see the effect of the silicon, while with older scars, it could take 18 months and two years and above. So you really have to be patient and you have to be consistent with the use of silicon. As I said, silicon comes in the form of sheets or gels. Now gels will be more convenient for others who might find it to use in awkward places such as the face where people can see it, or in awkward parts of the body where the silicon sheet might fall off more easily. The whole idea is to soften and flatten the scar and in terms of effectiveness there has been no major difference between the use of silicon sheet and silicon gels. I hope you found this video on the keloid and hypertrophic scar treatment useful. If you have any questions about the use of steroid tapes or any other form of treatment please drop some comments below.